Alright, what's up everyone? So today we're going to be doing a video on how to counter strike and just the tips to improve our counter strike and at least I'll give you my thought process whenever I'm trying to do things or pull back on things. Because I know a lot of people um, watch my count, watch me counter and think I'm very good at it so I uh, thought I might as well make a video on it and try and share how I do the things I do and my thought process behind what I do. So. First of all, we're just going to start with, like, honestly, just the analog sticks. I used to make this mistake a lot in UFC 3, where I couldn't counter-strike really, because I'd just be caught. Because I'd just be slightly flicking it like this. See the way the head moves like that? You need to f hold it, basically. Obviously, hold it, boom. Hold it, boom. You want your head to go kind of fully down to the side, because this, you can get caught with. You can get caught very easily. And then, also, when you're pulling back, you want to hold it instead of going... And get caught because this is the main one I used to always do. I couldn't pull back because I'd always just flick the analog stick, not even fully. I'd get caught on the chain and I'd get rocked. But you want to be able to hold it back and then strike. Hold it back, strike. All right, now we're gonna start with like strikes and how you should counter the certain strikes. Um, I guess we'll start off with the basic one two, one two, one two, one two. One, two. All right, playback. So. What you want to do with a 1-2, sorry the timing is a little bit off, so, it's called, there we go, you want to do with the 1-2 is purely just slip straight, so you want to pull off to the side, and strike with your rear hand, so this is analog stick obviously to the right, since I'm southpaw, and then just X, you want, you want to use this in the certain situation when your opponent is moving forward you know he wants to get the range on you he can sense it coming we'll stop it just there I'll explain the situation I use it in at least or how I get to do it so the jab straight obviously your opponent is coming in he wants to do it to you he, a lot of time it's when they're entering they're doing it at a distance so you want to be able to get your opponent's time and if he's throwing it a lot obviously you want to just whenever they're entering this is when you want to do it enter boom enter Boom, enter, boom. Uh, you can also add, like, I like to add that onto it, the little slip hook, or the little hook lead up or cut. Uh, just another thing, I won't be spending too much time on this because I think it's a very broken mechanic and it needs to be fixed, but the moving forward slip hook. I don't want to spend too much time, like I said, but if you just want to obviously spend your own time doing it, it is one of the best things in the game right now too good you could say has uh, got me caught a few times so obviously you're moving forward the moving forward is what you want to do you want to move them forward flick the analog stick downwards enough and then throw a hook you can literally do any strike or any stray strike that they throw it just dodges it and cracks them it's very good against uh, slip people that slip straight a lot as well that's a counter to the slip straight so I'll be able to turn on recording here with Nate Diaz I'll go slip straight slip straight slip straight ah I'm messing up there but we try it again slip straight slip straight slip straight slip straight and then hopefully I'll be able to see you just come on the inside of the slip straight there there we go so that is the use for the slip hook um, in the game it works against any straight strike uppercuts especially and stuff but this is what I think a lot of people are interested in, my pullbacks. I'm going to tell you how I get them so much. Because one of the tactics, this is what everyone should do, honestly. I know, obviously, there are counters to it, but it's a very tough counter. Um, it's just something people don't see too often. It's like, I could like to call it, like, invisible pressure, basically. Where you're not actually striking, but you're in their face, and it makes them feel like they want to strike. It's like, oh, I need to, you know... Sh strike because they're coming forward so as soon as they do that 99% of the time it's going to be an uppercut hook uppercut hook uppercut maybe just hook uppercut it's going to be with a close um strike that you can pull back on so let me do it here with nate diaz i'll show you what i'm talking about so say let's say i'm pulling um on top of him he goes like this boom 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 all right now play back boom boom a perfect succession pull elbow also one of the nastiest strikes in the game right now 
obviously it seems like it's bugging out not landing there we go but like i said that's how i land my pull back uppercut so often i walk forward hold the analog stick backwards pull uppercut pull elbow very nice too i use that in situations uh just as often as a pull uppercut it's just i mix them both in but honestly you walk forward in your opponent just stand here keep walking forward they'll throw something boom boom walk forward boom boom now uh let me get on to the block counters so i'll show you i'll start off by getting the little playback ready by recording but body strikes body strikes you can do this with fighters you know any fighter let's do it boom so that's it the block counter to the body is what i'm talking about so basically as soon as they hit your body uppercut block it uppercut block it uppercut block it uppercut that is one of the best counters as soon as somebody hits your body obviously i'm messing up because i'm holding lt for too long but as soon as somebody hits your body spring off an uppercut spring off an uppercut this is something i'm explaining that not the best but basically as soon as anyone hits your body you can just spring off an uppercut so look this is block counter this is what you call a block counter smack they hit your body boom hit your body boom all right now i want to show against overhands what i do against overhands um so i want to just throw an overhand with me just do four playback all right i'll show you what i do I'm doing it at too long of a distance, but you see what I'm doing here. So. You spring out a combo. If you're close enough, start entering. Boom, boom. Alright, so now I'll just explain, kind of. I want to explain what I'm doing. I keep, obviously, mistiming it, just because I don't know when this Nate Diaz is actually going to try it. I'm very bad with uh, practice, but... As you could see, it worked perfect. I mean, boom, there we go. You just, as soon as you think someone's thrown off an overhand, what I'm doing is I'm lunging to their overhand side. So as soon as they throw it, you just lunge. As soon as you throw it, lunge. Then I put off a straight lead hook straight most of the time. Um, is there anything else I want to go through? Oh yeah, I want to also tell you, most people, I'll just show you some tendencies of most people. If they're in the pocket, Stand in your face. They're going to throw. Most likely a lead hook. Rear up and go first. Or just any sort of combination that involves them. But most of all they'll throw this first. And especially in two pieces. If somebody throws a two piece. It's going to come with a pullable thing. Next. So as soon as they throw a two piece. Boom. That's what I do all the time. Off every two piece. Because no. I mean if they throw you know, a jab hook. You block both of them you know you pull back what's the harm you don't get hit but they go like this you just pull back and toward on smack i'll show you here so ah uh, my apologies record boom 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 all right now play back right there i'll block two see block one block two block one block two block one block two pull Block one, block two, pull. Block one, block two, pull. Block one, block two, pull. All right, so that's the basis. Like, as soon as somebody throws two strikes and they're still inside of the pocket, if the third one, the third one, if it's coming at all, it's gonna be this. It's gonna be this. It's gonna be this. It's usually a rear strike. If not, it's gonna still. If they're in the pocket, they're not really going to throw a jab or a straight straight in the pocket. But also, I'm gonna say because like, I, something everyone knows, I had fought Peyton. A great striker, made absolutely great adjustments. I can't take a thing off from him. I've been a little salty, but you know, Peyton, an absolute elite striker, absolutely amazing at making adjustments. And this is what 
the adjustment he made versus me. I know he made some defensive adjustments also because I was cracking him with this a lot. I was cracking him with that. Um, against people that do my tactic, sitting in your face, smack. I just want them to come forward and pull back. Just want them to come forward and pull back. He would do this. He would do. As soon as they come forward, he'd do jab, 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 jab. Or he'd sit in the pocket and I'd try and go like this and he'd crack me with a straight. A lot of people that throw straight strikes in the pocket, this is what I've been doing. The lead, the slip rear uppercut, one of the most OP strikes in the game right now. It is honestly so useful because it's in the pocket, you're evading a strike and it's, you know, let's be honest, you're most likely using McGregor or some sort of fighter with good boxing because that is the meta in this game. Good power, good boxing. Slip off to the side and just slip hook against those, uh, against those people that are throwing straight strikes in the pocket, trying to counter your pullbacks. You counter them, then they get back to their hooks and uppercuts. You pull back, go back to straight strikes, smack from a distance. Straight strikes, slip from a distance. Straight strikes, you slip straight, slip straight, slip straight. Lead hook uppercut is also a really good one if you're following into the pocket after the slip strike. Um, again, you block counter to the body. Here we go. Now, block the body. Block the body. Block the body. Now, I'm doing this with a, a body uppercut just because it's the easiest thing. But I'll also, just for example, do a body straight. Everyone loves a, body, a good body straight in this game. You know, just enter in with a body straight. Everyone does it. Everyone does it. So. This example is great. Play back. You want to go for your body straight? You want to go for his body straight? You uppercut him. Want to go for your body straight? Uppercut him. Alright, and I'll even show. Because I didn't actually put Nate Diaz's block up as soon as i done it. So look, I'll do two body straights. I'll do a body straight block. Body straight. Ah, that was an accident. Actually, I just realised. Very bad at recording. Um... Uh, recording in game so body straight block all right here we go now let's try play back oh my mistake body straight and now play back all right so you can see he wants to block as soon as i do it boom now he's trying to block but as soon as i as soon as i uh block it i have a time the block counter i have enough time to hit him with that uppercut before he gets his block back up that's what you want to do. As soon as somebody hits your body, if you have enough time and you're blocking the body already, hit them with a sweet uppercut. Boom. You need to be blocking the body, though. It doesn't work if you get hit to the body and try and spring off an uppercut. That's going to be me for now. I apologize. This video was a little confusing. I'm not, I haven't actually figured out how to edit yet. I'm going to be able to edit, so I'll cut out parts. I'll, it'll be less rushed. It'll just be more quality overall. I'll be able to go over parts in detail i'll be able to go over them in little segments uh, just better stuff i'm gonna learn how to edit soon enough so that'll just bring more quality to the videos and the streams as, as well because i'll be able to do um i'm gonna put overlays just a lot of cool stuff is coming soon enough i appreciate everyone for subbing though especially this is mm, i've reached 300 subs now uh we appreciate everyone for subbing on that uh, I didn't think I'd get to 300 subs, you know, even though, like, you know, I'm acting, it's not like a million subs or anything, but honestly, it's very much appreciated, I didn't even think I'd get to this stage, you know, I only started a few months ago, and I've grown so fast, so quickly, so, like I said, thank you everyone who's subbed, but that's gotta be that, that's gonna be the end of the striking video, I hope it's helped you somewhat, it was a little bit confusing, like I said, but, if you enjoyed it, a like would be appreciated, and if you haven't already, uh, hit that subscribe button, I'll be back with more tutorials soon enough, grappling ones, striking ones, they'll be way better than this one, but hope you've enjoyed, thank you for watching, peace.